Right, so I'm just doing this video. This is obviously one that has been in the tank, and you can see underneath it there's spades of goo still there. And so what I've tried to do is I'm just like cranked out the desoldering pump to try and get to the connections. Obviously, yes, they're now free, so I can now do it. Um, this one I've got freed. I've only just started basically. This one I've got freed, and then you can see the other one over there. I'm still trying to free up. The problem is, is that now my, my iron isn't isn't actually shy. It's quite reasonably powerful. I think it's a 50 watt one <coughs> that's temperature controlled, and I've cranked it up to 450 degrees. But it's having a real problem getting that free. You see, so um, yeah, not sure. But you can see how this circuit board is pretty much clean. There's not. I can't feel any stickiness or any residue on it now. So it seems to work just basically using petrol and paint brushes you can get it down and uh, yeah and now you can see the circuit obviously you could you could see the circuit before but you can see also the connections from the uh, gate driver board and i believe on this side still in still in there and we've obviously got pictures of it already but you can see that that's gone into the goo as well it's a real good close-up really um just to confirm so you can actually see the layout uh, what we've got here I'm going to desolder pump to, to point uh, wherever it is, oh it's already somewhere isn't it, there you go so what we've got here is, this is a resistor here and then we've got another resistor here and this is the track between them there okay oh. <laughs> This is really weird using this, but basically you can see that bit there. That bit is the track between them. So these are in parallel, and that's a gate. So you've got the two in parallel there, bits of shoulder dropping out of your pump there. But basically that, that terminal is connected to there, and that terminal is connected to there as well. So these are two resistors in parallel, which are for the 20 ohms. Let me just focus that better and you can see it. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. it should be able to I'm going to focus no it's just complaining now because it's too close there we go and you can just about probably make out the two tracks there uh, maybe if I do it from the top the trouble is my light level isn't that great here now there you go so you can now see the two tracks can't you that are connecting two resistors in parallel we've got the same thing over here basically where we've got these two guys here sorry there's two connections to these two terminals use the sucker again so these two terminals here are basically cross connected and you've got that terminal and that terminal onto this which is another gate you see and that's how it's done yeah so these are two 20 ohm resistors and you can see it's 20 R0 so says it on the resistor so that's basically 10 ohms and they're just some higher powered um, surface mounts effectively yeah, so that's the board really close up and you can see, I'm sure, let me show you, so you can see now, look, they're completely clear, there's no gunge on the top, the gunge is all underneath now, isn't it, it's there, yeah, so that's pretty good, yeah, that's it, there we go, very nice, and these are the first ones that I've tried to desolder, mm this one here, uh, it's that one isn't it, that one there and this one over here yeah. there we go yeah.